this epidemic looks as if it has been quite a close shave for humanity. It, it has surely upset the entire world, caused misery, caused the sad death of hundreds of thousands of people. Uh, but you'll be aware the case fatality rate it is probably more than an order of magnitude, more than tenfold less uh, than it has been for other recorded coronaviruses of not dissimilar types. So it's a matter of good fortune that um, th this agent, which is very much more infectious, um, is substantially less dangerous. So I do think that as we emerge from this, um, there will be uh, a need to consider more carefully uh, what preparedness we can make for, for other uh, infectious threats. I, I believe in the harnessing of human passion. I, I still believe that's important. Now, people's passions may change. People get motivated to do things for all sorts of reasons, and uh, there may be a rebalancing uh, of people to be passionate about the treatment of viral disease. But, but nevertheless, I, I don't think it will help in discovery research uh, to be too regimented and, and um, too closed about what we think uh, will be of value to society in future or indeed what we believe will be of ultimate value to managing this epidemic. There are so, so many unknowns that the problem with being prescriptive is that the majority of facts about this virus and the disease it causes are almost certainly not known. Therefore, trying to anticipate them and control research to what is believed by some powerful people to be most relevant, it is likely to fail to capture all of the things that might be relevant. So I, I still believe it is important um, to gain uh, knowledge uh, when that's possible uh, in an unbiased way, uh, in the confidence that it will be of use to society in the future.